guys, Jordan here with the Geomont channel. i um, got a special build, build for you guys today. I'm uh, going to be building my new computer, show you guys the parts. And uh, it'll be a couple part series, not sure how many right now. I um, do have a couple special guests. Uh, first special guest today would be Josh. You guys know Josh. He's uh, been with the Geomont channel for a little bit now. He does his rants, you know, stuff like that. So he's our official Josh there. We have a special guest for you guys today, uh, Matt. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Uh, he has his own. Uh, come on in the video view there, Matt. All right, he's got his own. Uh, <laughs> he's got his own channel on YouTube too. Uh, you can check him out. Um, I think it's you got a new one now, right? Matt? Yeah, you can go to my old one or even my new new account. Jordan can make an annotation. I will put that in the description below. Um, all right, let's get started. First off, we got the computer case. I'm gonna go ahead and just screw off the uh, back here. Too bad this is a th thumb screw. I might get that a little bit later. Thumb screws for that. Oh, the all important uh, screwdriver for building computers. All right, take the panel off. First thing you'll notice on the panel is the uh, little channel here just for taking the uh, straight off the stock processor uh, cooling pan and just put it right on the side there. So I think it's a nice feature. Um, this one does come with a built-in power supply. Um, this is a Rosewell. The power supply is a Rosewell Model dr 8500 BTX. Uh, it's 500 watt power supply. Um, plenty for what I need to do with it. Standard computer cord here. Not a modular. I would prefer a modular, but yeah. Get yeah, what you pay for, right? This build is my, uh, I did mention this in the, uh, my channel update. You can check that out on my video, uh, on my previous video. But, um, it's a, uh, this is an under $500, uh, build here. It actually ended up being $530, but with my RAM that you'll see in a minute, I do have two, uh, $20 rebates each. So, basically, we just got our different power boards here. The power LED is right there. Okay. Always the best part. <laughs> Taking out the plastic wrap, the best part. I got an eSATA. ESATA oh. port, that's nice. That's nice. That's Firewire. Good. Firewire port. I didn't even know this had that. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, it's not hooked up. You have to put an external one in. We'll do that maybe sometime. I don't really use it that often. Alright guys, that was the case. Um, next up we have our processor. This is a uh, FX4100. Uh, it's an AMD quad-core processor. Uh, again, this isn't the most top-of-the-line computer. This is a pretty old processor, but that's no problem. Heat sink here. Thermal paste already attached. Good to go. Here's the processor. All right, guys. Next up, we have the uh, Western Digital uh, 120 or 160 gigabyte hard drive. Um, 7,200 rotations per minute. I decided to use this. This is actually from Matt's courtesy of me. <laughs> old computer here. Yeah, donated by uh, our friend Matt. This is going to be just my boot drive. Um, I know uh, SSDs are better, but uh, just decided uh, I didn't want to pay $150 for a 60 for gig one. All right, guys, this is our Toshiba. This is our main hard drive. Everything's going to be stored. This is the... Toshiba one terabyte hard drive, also 7,200 rotations per minute. Go ahead and uh, pull this out. All right. It's a beauty. All right, one tear. All right, next up we have our RAM. Um, I decided to go with two four gigabyte Corsair uh, XMS3 cards. These are... Uh, Pretty nice looking there. You got some heat sinks built in. So we got one. And two. Alright, next up we have just a simple uh, DVD, uh, you know, uh, CDR drive. Pretty CDR. Much. CDR, CDRW, DVD, DVDRW. It's regular. It's not a Blu-ray. It's nothing special. Optical drive here. Um, it is black, so it blends in pretty nice with the uh, uh, thing there. And there it is. Get these out of here. Sad cables. 
Those are just some SATA cables. Those are also from uh, courtesy of, uh, courtesy of Matt's. <laughs> Plus uh, the motherboard, of course, came with a couple. All right, here we have the Gigabyte uh, GT620 graphics card. Again, I know it's uh, a lot older, but again, this isn't a you know, insanely powerful computer either. Here it is, with the heat sink fan on it. Good beast thing there. It's got a uh, HDMI, uh, VGA, and the DV, DVI DVD, ports. DVI, yeah. DVI ports. So that will definitely be used for my videos. In case you're using a mini tower, you can actually take this one, put it in, and use this in two different slots. Mm. That is. Good thinking, Gigabyte. And then, of course, uh, stock mouse, keyboard, speakers, uh, just in there. Don't really even need to show them. They're just peripherals. Um, this, of course, motherboard with an Asus uh, M5A uh, 78L-M LX Plus uh, with a 760 giga, gig uh, chipset. It's an AMD uh, Phenom 2. Um, here we have the vacuum plate there for the case. Uh, two more SATA cables. And of course, the beast. You drop this, it's all over. All right, here we have the motherboard here, uh, the beauty. And of course, uh, did this one last because this is the first thing that we're going to set up. So let's get the box closed up there. Would you close up the box, honey? Mr. Uh, Brown. 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 Brown.